Today, I'll explain how to stabilize events from the Vegas timeline using the Mercalli plugin in a batch fashion. For this demo, a very simple project consisting of five DV events, each five seconds long. I'll begin with a demo of the batch process in action. It makes use of several scripts inside of Vegas, and also an external auto hotkey script that I've prepared. Once the scripts are loaded and the batch process is ready to start, the screen will look like this. In the upper right hand corner, a small toolbar. Simply click on play to begin. You will see a marker for each event to be stabilized. The cursor moves to a marker. The event is then selected. The mouse then clicks the start button and the analysis begins. Once completed, the cursor moves to the next marker and the process is repeated. At the end, a marker with no event, telling the script to stop. A message pops up that the process is finished. Simply click OK to continue. Now some details. We begin with the timeline consisting of our five events. Select the first event and add the Mercalli effects. Once the video effects window pops up, it is essential that it be docked at the uppermost left hand position. To do so, hold the control key down and drag the window to that position until it snaps into place. This is necessary to ensure that the mouse cursor is in the correct place to start the analysis. Returning to the timeline, select and copy the first event. Then select the remaining events to be stabilized, Right click and select Paste Event Attributes. You can see that the Mercalli effects has now been applied to all events. Next, add a marker to each event, making sure that it does not fall on either the start or end position. I've included a script that will add a marker to each selected event with an offset of one second. First, select the events. Then, go to the toolbar and run the script Add Command Markers to Events. You see that a command marker has now been added one second inside each event. There is also a marker one second beyond the last track event. Command markers were used so as not to interfere with regular markers that might be on the timeline. Now we're ready to run the external script. Go to the toolbar and select the Batch Mercalli button. This launches the freeware program, Pulliver's Macro Creator, a front end for the scripting language AutoHotKey. You'll see the small toolbar has popped up. Then minimize Macro Creator. At this point, we're ready to execute the script. Make sure that the cursor is positioned somewhere before the first marker and the correct video track is selected. I'll delete one of the markers to show that it will skip unmarked events. Then go to the toolbar and click on the green play button to start the batch analysis. I'll be the first to admit that this procedure is a bit of a kludge and could be improved upon dramatically by the right programmer, but it does work and will save some time if you have a project consisting of lots of events that are in need of stabilization. We're done. Click OK to continue and then a preview of the stabilized clips. By the way, the footage was taken many years ago along the Oregon coast. Afterward, it's time to clean up. Delete the markers and close the external macro program. Hopefully, this procedure can be of some use to you and save you some time. That's all, folks, and good luck.